That is Pomotaro. Nothing doing. That is a persimmon that I had to cut away a lot of uh, leaves. They have this habit of curling back down around and touching the ground. And that's uh, where you can see. Oop, got to learn to go the right way on that leaf what happens when they touch the ground so I clip those off it hasn't been blight yet mostly it's just been from touching the ground and uh, too much rain but still I panic about those things this is a black plum prince it is currently my tallest tomato. They're aggressive little guys. According to my calendar, I should have Black Plum Prince tomatoes ripe today, and this is as close as we're getting. This is another Momotaro. Oh, huh. it does have one little tomato on it, two maybe but nowhere near green tomatoes or red tomatoes. Well, I mean, I know it's green, but you can't cut that up and fry it. And then over here is another, uh, from that wavy stem, I'd say that's a Mombataro. See how they, can you see that in the, how they like to wave around? Got some pretty little flowers, but no tomatoes yet that I can see. This is, a, I think it's a, called a Manitoba. Maybe not. It's some kind of potato leaf, but it's not brandy wine, and it does have one tomato on it that looks like it may decide to get big and get eaten. And then another persimmon that wants to curl back around. And another black plum plate, black plum paste. And it actually has quite a few little green tomatoes on it, but not a lot of, well, actually, no um, red tomatoes. This sad looking determinant tomato is called silvery fur. And I think the problem is, is that it was set in standing water. So I put a bunch of rocks underneath it and it'll get happy, but I don't hold out a lot of hope. That's one sad tomato. One of the things I'm doing today is moving tomato buckets because they're just getting too crowded over there, and I'm picking off too many yellow leaves, so I stuck two buckets of tomatoes over here, Oregon cherry and zebra cherry, with my blackberries. And right here next to the apple tree, I have put a bucket of tomatoes called Gold, gold Nugget, which is a determinate tomato. And while clipping off yellow leaves. They didn't all come from here. I noticed it wasn't all yellow leaves that were in there. There's a couple of nice yellow cherries that could be getting close to being ready to eat. And then good old faithful Stelts, Stelts tomatoes are trying really hard. See how hard they're trying there? I have, they did so well last year, I have four of those. That is, I think that one is Manitoba. And those are some, for Western Washington, those are good sized tomatoes. Another Manitoba. And I don't remember what these are. 
I'll have to read the tags. But they aren't doing much except for getting stressed about the cold weather we're having. <laughs>